night. What's up, guys? Okay, so um, we have a whole pile of steam rolling off this thing right now. We are getting close to syrup. So our temperature right now is 216.2, if you can see that. It's kind of funny because uh, I see two thumbs up and it's showing zero people are on here, but I think it's just slow loading. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna get syrup today. I really would have thought we would have gotten it sooner, but we've had a large headwind kicking through. And what happens is um, Eric made this kind of half door right here, which is great. But this whole area right here still has a lot of wind coming through and it blows onto our pan and cools it down. So, hi big country. Hi Ken. Yes, it is very foggy and this is actually not too bad because very soon it's gonna get a lot worse. But, hey Ron, hey. Um, we've got a uh, 216 for our temperature. So I think we're shooting for 219 thereabouts. It might actually be a little bit more than that. Because I just tested it and it was still pretty low. Hey Tyler, hey Ken, hey Scotty. Okay, so let me flip this camera around quick. Doop. Okay, there it is. Alright, how are you liking that? Hey guys. Okay, so one of the things we got to do, because we're getting kind of close to syrup, is we got to prep our filter. So I have all the filters in here. So what we have to do is I have to wet these down with some of the um, half-cooked syrup sap. So the reason is because if you pour hot syrup right into this filter, it's just gonna stick right to it. And that's gonna be the end of it. Well, it won't be the end of it, but it'll go through really, really, really slow. And you don't want that. Believe me, you'll have an overflowing mess. So we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna kind of pour it right into the filter oh my gosh look at that mess over there that is a horrible mess yeah that's gonna be a big sticky pile tomorrow so I'm gonna have to wash that down at the end of the day so anyway we're just kind of getting this wet right here we did this in school ah you cooked maple syrup in school I really wish I would have that would have been a really cool thing I think as a teenager for me to do Okay, so we're just kind of getting this kind of wet. See that? And it's hot. So then we're just going to cover this back over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, you could probably stick a pancake right there. And uh, you'd have maple syrup on it. <laughs> hey, homesteading. You guys are cooking down on Monday. How much are you cooking? Hey, Dale. Hi, Miss Little Martin kids. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um... Okay, so one of the things we have to watch, so I'm getting distracted, see this number's going down, it says 216, that's dropping a lot. Um, part of the reason is because I pulled some of the syrup sap out, and part of the reason is it probably needs some wood. So, hot enough to cook a pancake. Yeah, you could throw a pancake in there to be gone in just a matter of seconds. Um, I'll show you a little demo on that in just a minute. So let me set this up so I can put some wood in. I finally got a little tripod for my camera my phone my camera is tripod actually okay so how you liking that okay if you guys fall over just scream I won't be able to hear you but it'd be kind of funny So this is going to be completely out when I open this, just hold on. Okay, so for those of you not so technically inclined to maple syrup, when it starts to spit out maple syrup, it's called a draw. And draws can be very tricky. It's I don't know, kind of like cooking a souffle maybe? I don't know, I've never cooked a souffle. Um, hold on, I gotta turn this off. 
Wait, let me show you what it looks like before I turn off the blower. You ready? <laughs> yeah, um, I burned off half my hair because I put wood in and it kicked sparks up, so I'm like burned all over right now. So Eric doesn't pull the blower. I do. I have hair. He doesn't. So um, it's a little bit tamer now. Fire safety, guys. So anyway, with a draw, um, you really want, see it says 217 right now. It's getting really hot. So you don't want to put too much wood in, and you don't want to leave this open too long because what happens? Okay, so what happens is the more wood you put in there, the colder your fire gets because the wood is like the temperature of like 40 degrees. The fire is like, I don't know, some horribly high temperature. So they have to balance each other out, right? So when you stick the wood in, the fire temperature drops, which means the syrup temperature drops, which also means it doesn't actually turn to syrup yet. So let me show you this real quick here. So right now it says we're on 216.2. Do you remember what it was before? It was like 217 point something. Hey Joe. Redneck. Yes, it is very much a redneck sauna. It's good for your complexion. Make an awesome steam room. Plus you would smell like maple syrup. Well, I actually don't smell like maple syrup. I come off smelling like some horrible smokehouse room, I guess. Oh, see that temperature's climbing to 216.8. So that's good. Hey Mark. Hey James. Um, and just so you guys are aware, apparently, from what I read on this little YouTube thing before it loaded, um, this chat conversation will be available in the video later on. Now that's what YouTube's saying, so I'm curious to see if it's actually going to happen. Alright. Oh, I forgot to show you what this looks like. Before and after with the blower. Or maybe you already saw it. I don't know. All right, so again, 219 is our magic temperature. I don't think it's going to be syrup at 219, honestly. And I didn't check it today. It's not always the same every day. It just depends on the atmospheric pressure. Oh, temperature's dropping again, 216.6. I wonder why it's dropping. It does save the cap? What are you guys talking Oh, chat, chat, okay. Gosh, I'm like, save what cat? Do you make maple candy on snow? You know, oh man, most of our snow actually did melt. We probably could. Redneck perfume, yes. I will have to bottle some of that. Hey, Bobby. Yeah, look, there's Eric. Makes me hungry for waffles. Well, I'm sitting here hungry myself. I had some pancakes earlier, but I think I need some bacon with maple syrup on it. That stuff's really good. All right, so speaking of really good, I think we need some ooh, stuffing on my wood here. Um, I gotta wash my temperature. You just put in wood, it may take a minute to heat back up. Yes. Don't use the yellow snow. Why is maple syrup so expensive? Well, that's a very excellent question. Part of the reason it's so expensive is because it takes so much labor to collect it. The other part of the reason is, yeah. Uh, oh, he blocked a shot of the snow. Sorry, there's the snow. Hey guys. Um, the equipment's on, expensive. Oh, are these the good ones? I made sure they're like real soft and chewy. Um, these still are not the right ones. Yeah, but these ones are soft and gooey. Yeah, but they don't have the apple juice in them. <laughs> don't mind your life, then. Okay, so the discussion on, um, Ken says hi. Hey. The, hey, watch that wood. Don't step on that. The discussion on these gummy worms is, uh, like, they have the exact same bag at the store. How come that one's open? Did you already eat some? Oh, okay. I don't eat sugar. Well, I meant somebody. Um, so the gummy worms are exactly the same looking, but they're actually a different recipe. So I was eating them. I'm like, boy, these things don't taste as good as they used to. Yeah, so that's the gummy worms. They were my favorite. But they have to come from Family Farm. Hey, you can't stand on that. You're going to fall into the fire. Can send you some snow from Finland. Well, that would be great. I actually don't mind the snow. 
Okay, you guys have to get out of here because I gotta put more wood in. Try one. I can't. Huh? Do you do a final check with a hydrometer or just go by temp? We have actually a Murphy's Cup hydrometer. Um, this has, I don't know if you'd call this a hydrometer or what, but it's got this thing. So, 7 is the boiling temperature of water, so you need it like a couple degrees above that. This is our Murphy's Cup, but I'm thinking it might not be working anymore. Um, so, this is a hydrometer thing all in one, so all you do is you have their special floater thing here. Oh, sorry. The two red levels, you have to get it um, right between there. So pretty much you want um, the number on here to match the number on this. But anyway, the reason maple syrup is expensive is because you can only collect it once a year. It takes a long time to collect it, a long time to cook it, and all this stuff is really expensive. Um, yeah, I mean, we are lucky to break even at all on maple syrup. It will probably be a couple years before we actually do break even. Mom. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Um, um, we went at Farming Farm. Yeah? And Farming Farm got little chicks. Oh, they got chicks at the at the farm store? Yeah, and I buy this. Then, um, oh, you got a toy? And, wow. And, and I almost pet a little chick. Oh, you almost got and to pet I a little sat. chick? Then Dad will leave the night sad now. <laughs> You're sad because you had to leave the chicks? Yeah, I got a pet one. Oh, you want to pet the chick? <laughs> okay, go find Dad. Mom's got to put fire in, hon. I don't have any little chicks here for you to pet, sweetheart. <laughs> you guys hearing this? <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Love little kids. Uh, okay, so this is like pretty much gone. I didn't turn it off. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, our temperature's dropping a lot. Kids are so spoiled today. <laughs> yeah, this is very true. Is 50 gallons of sap equal to one gallon of syrup? Uh, it depends on your trees, but a lot of times it is. Um, I think for us, that's pretty close to it. Dylan Family Homestead. We have some baby chicks, but we're a little far away. Yeah. We can, we've got a couple of hens that are going broody. I could always hatch them out if I really wanted to. Quantum entanglement and didn't learn anything. I have no idea what quantum entanglement means. M at, can't wait to have kids. Oh, Bobby, you're asking what's wrong with him. He was crying because uh, he wanted to see the baby chicks and he wanted to pet them at the farm store. <laughs> um, a hydrometer we use to proof liquor down here. Yes, plain speaker, that is true. Uh, my sister has wine, she makes wine and they use a different type of hydrometer, if that makes any sense. Quart of maple syrup, how much would I sell it for? I guess it's gonna have to depend. Um, just depends on how the maple syrup season goes. Typically it's gonna be anything from, um, sorry. Ah! So it's gonna be anything from like, oh shoot, 18 or $20 a quart, is that right? I think it was something about that. And then pints are anywhere from 10 to 12. Um, I do have a couple glass from last year that I still should probably sell. We use glass for like gifts and such. I see Eric doing something. Um, let's see, what else was I gonna do? So my temperature is at 215.2. So we got a little ways to go. Anyhow, I need to go check out my pork which is cooking. Here, let me flip you back around because I know you're gonna wanna look at the pork and not me so much. Oh, do I make birch syrup? kind of funny how that goes. Would closing up the sugar shop help with temp and evaporation? It certainly would. We did have a fan up there, but then it started condensating on the fan, which was not so good. Hey, hon, do you want to open up that grill for me so I can baste that sucker? 
No, I haven't been busy. Big country, you got a oh job on the farm in Ohio. What are you guys doing out there? All right. I don't want to base my thermometer. It's at 149. It's been Actually, probably 130. Oh. And then my connection died, I think. There you go. Just, you know, because of you, I went out and tapped two maple trees out back just to see what happens. Hey, there you go. Okay, so you take the sap, you throw it in a pot, and you cook it down. Or, hey, I don't know if you have a heat gun. Actually, look, we got a heat gun right there. Eric said you can get these at, um, shoot, what's it called? Harbor Freight for like 15 bucks. No joke, I we had stuck that underneath our float box over here, and it started making maple syrup in the float box. <laughs> Oops. So, if you have a heat gun and you've got like a metal pan, stick the heat gun on it, and then you can have like maple syrup in a matter of an hour, probably. Milking, feeding the cows, and some hay. Oh, that sounds like a fun time. You getting paid for it or? I don't know how that stuff works anymore. Trying out the new smoker, yes, yep. Um, what else am I doing here? Well, our temperature is still kind of low. Let's look and see what's going on over here. Yeah, now I'm not gonna stick my phone in the pan because you won't see anything. You get paid five dollars an hour. That's not any good. Nothing beats slow cooked ribs. Yeah. First day, I only got about a quart of sap out. Well, you can take that sap and you can actually freeze it. Um, and then cook it down later. Or you can cook it down partially and then save it in the fridge. Yeah, Dylan Family Homestead. Just go out and find a couple maple trees, uh, stick a tap in. Syrup is a tasty replacement for sugar in your coffee. Hey, you can spot on. I actually had some earlier. There's my coffee cup down there. Um, actually, actually, if you guys like coffee and you put sugar in your coffee, you can tap your maple trees, um, boil that sap on your stove for just a few minutes, and then put it into a French press, and that will make the most amazing coffee ever. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay, I'm getting dripped on. The smoker must be insulated. I have a hard time regulating heat this time of year. Um, our pellet grill is insulated. The smoker's not so much. It's honestly not too bad over there, I don't think. I cooked a chicken on it the other day. It was super, super windy. It didn't do too bad. Um, baste your ribs with some maple syrup. <laughs> yes. Bobby's a rancher from North Dakota. North Dakota, you guys uh, got some big area out there, don't you? Right, let me pull the plug on this. It's my temperature at 215. Gosh, really hope this produces some syrup. Are we gonna make a permanent sugar shack? Yes, eventually we will. It's just one of many projects around here that need to get done. Like our road out back, it's, I gotta take a video on that. It's just, it's horrible. It is shot. We fix it and now it's shot again. All right, so if you can see this at all. Um, we actually boil it down right there in that last pan. See that one right there? That's the maple syrup pan. So as it turns to syrup, um, where'd it go? That little sensor right there tells it to open up and spit out just the syrup. Um, these other two pans is where most of the cooking happens. You can actually see it right there. Charlie C, my first year making syrup. You have a hundred... One and a half gallons so far. Excellent job, bud. Yeah, um, it's kind of a funny story. So, making maple syrup was actually Eric's idea. I'm gonna plug this back in. So, our first spring out here, you know, we had all these maple trees everywhere, but they were silver maples. And at the time, we didn't know the difference between silvers and sugars and all that. Yeah, maple tree is a maple tree, right? So, <laughs> Uh, we went out and we tapped, I think, 15 trees, and we collected it, we collected it. I'm sure that stuff was probably just awful. And, uh, we ended up sticking it in a big 55-gallon drum cut in half and, like, building a fire underneath it. And we cooked it all day 
long all day long but the inside of the pan was coated you know because it was a barrel food grade barrel and uh all that coating came off into the syrup so i still have some i'll have to show you guys some time but it's got this like thick thick disgusting layer of sediment in the bottom um but you know despite the fact that it was really disgusting we still loved it because it was the best thing we'd ever tasted so from there on out we just improved our system and improved our system and you know it just goes to show that you can start with anything and it's you know even if it turns out bad it's a start you know if you started perfect all you can do is get worse Bobby, you guys don't have maple trees out there? How many gallons of sap are we cooking down? Uh, it's about 200. Oh, shoot, we gotta push this. I'm gonna have to push this fast because um, I think we're at like 40 gallons maybe right there. All right, so let me stick some more fire in this guy. I gotta re-insulate this door. You can see the flame shooting out. The steam actually sometimes does smell like maple syrup. Not always right here, because a lot of what you smell is actually the wood. Um, but if you go down the street a little bit, you can smell it and it smells fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go get some wood quick, guys. Turn off my blower. I'm trying to use smaller pieces for this shop. this a little bit better otherwise we're gonna have no syrup today turn on the blower. Okay. Why don't you have, save a little sap and try steaming your vegetables? Yeah, we could do that. Um, how many years do we have this set up? This is, shoot, I think this is our third year. Yeah, I think this is our third year with this setup. Because last year we actually scorched our pans. Should have Eric fix up an on off switch for your blower and put it by, you know, I actually said that when he installed it. I said, right here, put, give me a little switch right here so I can just go toot toot. But, yeah, so for three years, I still have to run over there and pull the plug. I don't know. <sighs> oh, well. But you know what? When we get a real sugar shack, this thing's going to have a button right by the door. Um, did we build a seam system or buy it already made? Um, maybe, lady. Nice to meet you. Um, part of this we had built for us and... Part of this we actually made ourselves. Um, this right here is from Smoky Lake. It was actually custom made because we custom made our, uh, this is called an arch. And this actually was a steam table. So we bought the steam table from an auction site for like 50 bucks. It was a heck of a deal. And then like, gosh, I really have to do a video and try and put together the videos 
we did on this. It was way before YouTube. But it was really, you guys would have loved to watch the video of this thing going together. Because it was a lot of welding, um, a lot of cutting with the, shoot, what's it called? <sighs> grinder, cut off wheel, cut off wheel and grinder, whatever. Um, so yeah, this whole thing, like, let me see if I can show you, like, right here. I don't remember what this was right here, but, oh, Eric didn't measure correctly. <laughs> That's what that was. So he measured it wrong, and then he had to re-weld it together. <laughs> Because this we actually bought from Menards. You can buy these online. It's just a door. Just a cheap little door. I mean, real ones normally have a giant sized door. This one's tiny. And then we went through and uh, put fire brick all over the inside. So the thing I love about this is that it's huge. So it really holds the heat. I mean, like all of this, you can touch up to that point right there. That's hot. But I have this cool little shelf right here that I can put all my stuff on. Because, you know, those girls like to be kind of organized. Um, so yeah, so there's the Smoky Lake. And, uh, so yeah. And then, the stack. You can see it. Where's the stack? Hiding in the smoke. That we got for, I want to say like $80 on Craigslist. I mean, that was some huge steel piping we found. How cold is it here? Um, like 35 maybe? I know the sap is flowing today. It'll flow tomorrow. Um, I don't know about Monday, Tuesday. We'll probably cook again on Friday, but I don't think I'll go live. Unless I don't get a um, draw off today. Hopefully I will get one. Well, let's see. Good night, Mom. <laughs> it works. A stitch would be better. Carolina man, I'm not quite seeing what she said. What's the best electrify section for the price to make the maple? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Okay, let me scroll through this here quick. 21, yeah. It's not, I mean, it's a nice sunny day. It's just windy. Alright, so this stuff's flying again. That's a good roll. This is what we want to see. But I'm just bummed that this isn't coming up to syrup yet. Oops. Alright, so can you guys see the color of this? It's actually getting darker, which is good. So, I'm going to scoop some out and see if I can taste it. The problem with wearing a ball cap is that uh, it's hard to drink with this. Is there a point to where the sap collection hurts the tree? I don't know anything about it. Um, I've heard stories of people saying that they've put millions of taps in the tree and it's been fine. Um, you can't force the tree to give you sap. I mean, if you sliced off the top, then that would probably kill it and that would give as much sap as it could give. How is the pork doing? Um, I did have that on here earlier. I'll go check on it in just a little bit. You t typically stop collecting when the buds come out on the trees. Uh, yeah, a lot of times the trees will stop on their own too. Um, the red maples and silver maples you gotta watch out for. Hold on. It's always interesting to taste it because every batch has like a different flavor. And a lot of people can't decipher the flavors but I've got a very sensitive palate, so I can taste them. It's definitely very mild and very buttery. Hey, Kool-Aid Jimmy. Um, yeah, so this is a very light batch. It's, and that's typical with most maple operations. Your first and your second batch is going to be very light. A light taste, usually. Some years it's just the same all the way across the board. And then as you keep going, the flavor takes on more of a deeper tone. Bobby Livingston, I wish maple syrup wasn't so costly here. Yeah, and it's kind of like honey. Honey is expensive too, but there's a lot of work that goes into making honey as well. A lot of people don't know what real maple syrup tastes like. That's true. I honestly didn't have it until we started making it ourselves. Oh, 
let's see. Uh, Drew says, go live again next weekend. Hey, James. Nice to see you from Kentucky. Um, I'll, we'll have to see. I'll just have to see. I really need this to get me some syrup produced in here. Um, nothing like real maple syrup. I had a buddy that made it. Okay, yep. Nothing beats real maple syrup on Second Jacks. Yeah, honestly, if we ran a maple syrup and we had no more syrup, I would stop making pancakes and stop making waffles. Well, maybe I'd get it from Costco, but I don't know. Now, can we trade honey for maple syrup one day? Well, I would have no problem with that, but the biggest factor is shipping. Shipping is ridiculously expensive for maple syrup. I did ship a couple out um, months ago to some subscribers that ordered some, and it was like $15 to ship a pint, no joke. So, I just gotta find a way to get the cost down because shipping is so ridiculous these days. I mean, seriously, the post office, they're just like trying to slit your throat and pull all the money out. Uh, let's see. Pull that in butter. <laughs> Oh, Big Country says he can buy maple syrup for $5. That's pretty good. I tried doing the maple syrup two years ago and ended up at the liquor store. <laughs> well, actually, my sister takes uh, my used filters and she turns them into wine. They make, actually, it was kind of like a more of a maple liqueur. But I mean, this stuff was like knock your socks off, potent, both sweet and full of alcohol. They ended up having to thin it down with something. I don't know. But yeah, it was it was crazy. A pint here costs fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's that's probably about right. All right, so let's see. I need one of you guys to start putting a timer on your phone for like every seven minutes. Does somebody want to volunteer for that? Because I keep losing track of how long it's been. <laughs> Maple syrup is like butter. Once you've had the real thing, you never go back, right? You know, I've heard you can make your own butter. I have not tried that. Honestly. That was kind of the reason why we have cows is because I wanted to make my own cheese. I wanted to make my own butter, but how on earth would I ever have the time for that? Uh, true maple syrup is thinner than what you purchase. I get mine from the Native American Reservation. Um, ours isn't. Ours is actually probably about as thick because we cook ours a little bit more dense than a lot of places do. Now, you can cook your maple syrup down and say it's syrup when it's not really syrup. And to stir up, it has to be cooked to a certain hydrometer rating, depending on your state. Vermont is the most strict with maple syrup, so, um, yes, I know, I gotta feed the fire, thank you. on there. I have no idea how to do that. So can I cook this down more? Um, I didn't see your previous question, B lady. I mean, uh, shoot. You guys are going through a little fast. Hold on. I'll have to scroll back through that in a minute. <laughs> you can actually hear the fire going down and the pan not cooking as well. We're just gonna give it a little bit and let it kind of heat up. You can buy corn syrup. Yeah, you can make fake maple syrup. Wow, you guys are spitting out stuff fast. Hold on here. Hold on, kids. Hold on. Something moving in the background. <laughs> I'm sure there probably is something moving in the background. It's probably a monster out there. Okay. Hold on. Do, 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 do. So can I cook this down more? Um, okay, I'm at, yes, set the timer for me. Seven minutes, set the timer. 
Um, two maple syrup, uh, blah, 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 blah. Be lady. So yes, you can take the stuff you buy from the store if it's real maple syrup and cook it down a little bit more if you want. <clears throat> you don't really need to, but you can for giggles if you want. Let's see, do I have any idea? Yeah, I have, I don't know why that keeps thumping. It's kind of weird. You have to put fire in, put wood in the fire every seven minutes, especially right now, it's just chewing it down like a hungry baby. You can buy corn syrup with fake maple flavor for $5. They also have hybrid syrup too, which is, I guess, half maple syrup and half fake syrup, but what would be the point of that? I, I don't even get it. Hey, Noel. Yes, uh, we do have older kids. One is in the house doing homework, and Eric's two other kids are at their mom's house. They sometimes help collecting with buckets. There's not really much for them to do out here. Um, Eric's inside with Aaron. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, let's see. Uh, maple syrup standard is 66 bricks. I think we actually put ours to 67, 68. Hey, loving with Kim. Am I single? No. Um, if you look earlier in the video, you saw Eric driving by. Hey, no, no. <laughs> I saw that message. <laughs> Um, kids and cooking syrup don't go together. Yeah, not so much. Especially in here, it's a little crowded. Oh, New York beekeepers make mean. Yes, that is good stuff from what I've heard. Getting more viewers coming on over 100 now. Yeah, it's Saturday, so I don't know how people pop in. You know, live feeds are kind of weird, because sometimes you get, like, people who've never seen your channel, and they just pop in on the live feed. I don't know how that works, but, hey, that's fine. Uh, what, oh, gosh, what is a bricks? I don't even know how to explain that one. Somebody want to kick in and explain that? I look it up on Google. <laughs> um, it's a unit of measurement to determine the vos, viscosity, viscosity. All right, help me out on this, somebody. Anyway, it tests the sugar in the water and lets you know what percentage it is. That's what bricks is, I guess. The hats you are selling, which ones are they? They're these. I've got like, I think four left. Um, what was it that I turned off before adding the wood? That is my blower fan. If I don't, then it shoots like fire in my face. <laughs> viscosity, viscosity. Yes, very good. All right, who's got the timer? Did my timer go off yet? Uncle Google, yes, go consult Uncle Google. He's my good buddy. Percentage of sugar in the syrup. Yes, bricks. There's no Sasquatch back there. Oh, guys. Okay, I gotta tell you this really funny prank we're gonna do. So, a lot of our kids are petrified of the woods. They will not go outside for the life of them. Especially Eric's son, the older son. Uh, let's see, 5.58 is 7 minutes. I don't have a clock on this thing. It doesn't show me a clock. So anyway, so we thought it'd be a really funny prank to put up our game cameras out in the woods and uh, put on a gorilla suit, you know, during Halloween time and at night walk in front of the game camera. Hey, my tail bushcraft. And then like after we do that, we bring the game camera in and we start going through the pictures and we're like, oh my gosh, guys, you gotta see this. And then show them the game camera video of like Sasquatch walking through the woods. And they would pee their pants. I'm serious. They would never leave the house again. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, try Firefox books from the 60s about farming. Hmm. I got three minutes to go. I can hear the fire actually dying down, though. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I didn't even have my blower in. I forgot to turn on my blower. down more in whoop, sorry knocking you guys over hold on you guys can see in there so this pan right here is the syrup emptying pan you can see the 
bigger bubbles that it's making, that's what you really want to see when it starts to get close to syrup. And yes, it does smell like syrup now. See that dark color? That's good. That's what we're looking for. Okay, you guys have to go back in the corner. I'm gonna put some wood in. Hopefully not kill myself doing it. Not too bad. Fire up the ghouls. Okay. Ooh, it's definitely getting hot. I can feel it on my face. So at this point, we don't want to fill it full of wood because that's just going to make the fire go down smaller instead of bigger. Fire needs room to grow. <sighs> Can I trade field corn for some maple syrup? <laughs> I don't need any field corn. Yes, it is starting to look good. Yeah, we do have a nice setup. It's You know what? It's working. It could be a little bit better, but hey, Taylor Hill. Cut on the blower. Now, here's the thing with the blower. The blower takes that fire and it shoots it to the back, which most of your cooking done is in the back. But if you're trying to get the fire right here to get nice and hot, you might not want the blower on because it pushes the fire away from your main pan. So it's raining on my head. It's kind of a toss up. It's like, we can turn it on and see what it does to our pan. So let's do an experiment, okay? Here's the temperature of our front pan right now, 217.3, in case you can't read it. I'm turning the blower on big country, I'm getting there. So here's my blower plug. I'm gonna lose my battery. Now watch this. All right. Guys, look out guys, it's gonna explode on you. Yeah, you see that? It's like a little lava fountain right there. All right, I'm gonna back up before it hits my camera. If it hits this camera lens, it's gonna be a big gooey mess. Got to go, battery. Nice to see you. Want some pancakes and maple syrup? Yeah. Maybe I'll make waffles tomorrow. Although I think I'm on a pancake mix. Maple syrup is great on vanilla ice cream. I don't even think I've ever even tried it kind of crazy but I don't know but closing the flute some make the heat increase um I maybe you're talking about the dampener did you that other person looking in over your stove think either Sasquatch or Yeti hey Matt Taylor okay let me see plain speakers gotta go Bobby Livingsworth is going to use it on his pancakes tomorrow. Alright, someone set a timer again. Cinnamon rolls for the win. I love cinnamon rolls. I had some this morning, actually. <sighs> okay, so we're at 216. So we turn the blower on, the temperature dropped to 216.8. So we're going to keep an eye on that and see what happens. So, what happens when you turn the blower on? The blower is right here it comes all the way down here and then it opens up right in this spot and it shoots it right underneath the fire so it's shooting air under the fire which supercharges the fire and sends the heat down the flues now inside of here there are like flues that are like fingers that stick down like this that the maple syrup floats around in and so that's where it cooks is all right through here now by turning the fan on you're cooking this stuff up super 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 fast but you still have to cook the stuff down here because as this stuff cooks and gets closer to syrup it travels down to this end so if this pan doesn't cook up fast enough to maple syrup then it starts to back up into this area and you really don't want it backed up this far you want it to continually kind of travel its way through so sometimes it is good to leave the blower off because then it keeps the fire right here the flu on the stove pipe. We don't have flues on our stove pipe. It's just a big old hunk of stainless steel. 15 feet. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Three minutes. Has it already been that long? 
It looks really cold there. I don't know. I guess it depends on what your term of really cold is. I mean, there's some snow, but a lot of it melted. I've never had maple ice cream, although the maple syrup supply store does sell it. Look how pretty that is. It's a beautiful day. Hi, Andy. You guys probably have some great maple syrup out there too, huh? Uh-oh, we can't see anything. So, 217.7. I'm gonna do a quick hydrometer test here. Just because. I'll put you guys down a moment. Don't forget daylight. Oh yes, daylight savings time tonight. The nice thing is that my phone is my alarm clock, so it kind of already does the whole daylight savings time thing, which is great for me because you know me, I forget everything. Okay. So here's my hydrometer cup. Let's see, I gotta see what you guys can see. I'm gonna turn this up a minute so you guys can see how this goes. Sorry if it's a little bit too foggy. Hun, watch out. Huh? Yet. It smells okay. good in here. Okay, don't bump this. It does smell good. I have maple syrup. You want to sit right there in that chair? Well, my please have maple syrup. Yeah, hold and on. I can hold it. you can't read right now it says 61 so 61, 61 yep is where this has to float to right now it's saying like 45 45 oh. but 45 so is 61 is gonna be like right about um, here 45 is the big number yeah why you why 45 is the big number so i'm not sure if this thing is completely accurate or not well, back up back up I, I, this a minute oh you guys are good it's time for what yeah I can't see the back of this sorry guys um, I have my screen flipped the other way around so hold on I'm gonna put the lid Stop getting low and my hair's burning off again Say hi to the people on the phone. Hi. <laughs> you can see again. Did it go blank? Yeah, it does eat a lot of wood. It's like every seven minutes. So before this, I would like 
throw the wood in, run out back, chop some wood, bring in stacks of wood, stack it up there, Mom, stuff it back that? in again. Mom, what's that? Yes, maple syrup's great on sweet potatoes. All right. I, I, I don't hold it. I don't okay. Hold, it. hold on. Do your cat in the headlights? Yes. I think my chat is like, I don't know, a little bit behind or something. Oh yeah, it's definitely tasting like maple syrup. You gonna do it yourself? This kid, like, seriously has grown up on maple syrup. He's had this stuff since he was a tiny, tiny little baby. Haven't you? Okay. That gave me a lot. Well, yeah. How big is our evaporator? Um, I think it's a 2 by 5 and it has 9 inch flues. This is my maple syrup. That's your maple syrup? Uh huh. When you get older, you'll be making your own maple syrup, huh? I don't know how maple syrup goes. I don't okay. Know um, 217.7. Ah! It's getting up there. All right. I don't know where your head is. Honey, you need inside. <clears throat> I have more maple syrup. You want more maple syrup? Yep, a lot. You're getting two for one today. I'm Mom, in the den I washing on my PC and the, <laughs> and the wife's washing on her phone. <laughs> Yeah, Eric's probably in the other room watching this too. Sugar Rush be up all night. Yeah, this kid has had like... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, he's just been wired all day today. Are the neighbors eating popcorn in the window waiting for me to do something crazy? Not, not yet. We haven't, we've been pretty low key as of right now. Yeah. Um, when we were putting this structure up, actually, I'm sure they thought it was just nuts. The kids were climbing all over this. I mean, like, they were climbing up on the roof and standing up there. I mean, for not being oh, real tits? farm kids, they oh, get pretty tits? hearing sometimes. Oh, what tits? Your sisters and your brother. Oh, well, I guess more your sisters. Oh, so down maple syrup like water, he probably could. Hey, okay, don't push on that because it's going to put a hole through it. Yeah, it's got enough holes. It'll probably last until we're done. And then we'll have to strip this thing down. So it doesn't blow away too badly. Um, 217.9. Maple syrup's great in a spoon. Well, we go a little more extreme with a ladle. That's my taster. Actually, I should probably go check on my fork now that I'm thinking of it. Why are you Hey, be careful up there, alright? Let's see. Yeah, it's E-R-I-K. E Eric spells it the Swedish way because his family's part Swedish. Three minutes left. Thank you. All right, let me go check my pork quick. Uh-oh. Actually, let me look at this a minute. Oh, yeah. It's got a little foam on there. I'm going to take this down a little bit. That's a defoaming liquid. This is just a general, general defomer. Out, hat, hat. He looks like a Viking. <laughs> oh gosh, this stuff is just. This is like really hot in there. Honey, it is hot. Don't touch. Okay. Oh. I have. I have a lot of maple syrup. Yeah, you had a lot of maple syrup. Oh, we're on 218.1. I want a lot of maple syrup. I see you're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Yeah. Now, according to... According to uh, the boiling circumstances, it would be about 219, maybe 220 for maple syrup. But... Ooh, thanks, Put that what? down. Down. Why you? Why? How many gallons do we make well, a year? Why? And you out for maple syrup. Well, big country, there actually will be something amazing happening. Once it gets to syrup temperature, why? this thing right here is a robot and it's going to open up and it's going to spit all the syrup out. 
So that's what I was hoping would happen soon, but it's still taking a little while. <laughs> You've had enough maple syrup. Alright, I think it's time for more fire. One minute. Yep, see, I can always tell when it's getting close because the seam starts going down. I want more maple syrup. Here, I'm going to just flip this around front ways. Alright, so now I can see you guys. Okay, so can my child. Here's luck with this. Okay, uh, hey, you're gonna have to move because I gotta put fire. Ah! You got drip done? Yeah. Okay, go sit in your chair. Why tripping all Go life? sit in your chair. No, why is tripping? Because it, 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 the ceiling's peeing on you. Okay, go sit. No, I'm. Ow! Go sit right here. Wow. Thank you. It's still raining. right now because I want it to focus on getting a good draw. We're getting to critical level right now. Um, this is actually kind of the fun stage because the temperature is 218.1 which doesn't mean anything to you guys because it's just the temperature but that means we're getting closer to syrup. See that 221.3? I think that's kind of closer where we're going to be for syrup. Like I said, we actually run our syrup a little bit more dense than what most people do. But that's based off the Mercy Cup. Murphy's Cup through Smoky Lake. And uh, I'd rather have it a little bit beyond syrup than under syrup. You know what I'm saying? I don't like cheating people of stuff they're buying. I like giving them a little bit more than what they like. Thanks, Floyd. How does the vapor affect my lungs? Um, there's a lot of minerals in the vapor, I would say. I don't think the vapor is bad, but, um, hey Gary, glad you like it. This is bad for you. I mean, all of the heat and the ash and the smoke, that's, that's what will kill you. Yep. Um, but if you're doing it right, you shouldn't have too much coming back on you, especially if you turn your blower off. Um, I'm telling you what, tending to the smoker, that was, that was really giving me some grief because I was trying to like stand over it and put stuff on it and it was smoking up in my face and same thing with the grill you know grills do that too or at least ours does because it's a pellet grill love the Punisher truck all right so you guys are gonna freak out when you see the truck because it's still in storage right now yes mom yes um turret knows my thumb the man knows Okay, I can't see what you're saying. No, well, um, my mom broke the oh. nose on the down, then I right there and I fall ah! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> hey, maybe a deer came along and was nibbling on it because the deer was hungry. No, just I oh, break hey, it. Hey, 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 look, you got a fire behind you. You want to hit that? This is my Okay. You want to go see what that's doing? No tip. Why don't, I why, don't, why don't you smash your snowman? Why? You can jump on him. It's squishing down. No tip. I found it and then. Well, that's what snowmen do. They disappear. Wait. You can karate chop him. Why? You can pretend his brother and go, hiya. No tip. I bring my snowman. <laughs> 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 That was a 
little sensitive, sorry. Now you guys are like, no kids, let's go to the dark and get everything caught. <laughs> yeah, um, he has had too much maple syrup and he's anti-naps now, so he doesn't take naps anymore. So it's like all the people are rolling in. Oh my gosh, there's a kid throwing a tantrum, let's watch. <laughs> so he is like one of those touchies that if you give him too much sugar, not enough nap, not enough food, just poof, explodes. So yeah, you gotta keep them like at the full level and everything. And usually you can tell because it's about five o'clock and he starts to unravel, you know. He needs more syrup, yeah. Why don't I send him over to your house, Wayne, and you can feed him full of syrup for the rest of the night. See how that goes. And I think the day is when I wish I could get a nap time at work, yes. All right, so we're at 218.3. What was I even saying? Oh, okay. Distractions. Three minutes left. Thank you. On the ball. Um, so, three minutes left. We're at 218.3. Let me check this quick. I'm going to actually throw a little bit in. Ooh, boy, this guy's getting toasty. Soak it up. Alright, this is the point when we're going to baby it a little bit. I'm only going to put a couple chunks in at a time and I'm just watching the temperature. So anyway, the truck. Yeah, um, it was pretty cool before, but Eric went through and got really excited and added some major customizations to it. We got new wheels, bigger wheels, bigger tires. Um, the headlights, of course, were new last year. We got new bumpers, because he hated the bumpers. I like the bumpers, but he got new bumpers. Um, new step bar things, whatever they're called. What else did he get? Oh, yeah, the wheels, you guys are just going to freak out over the wheels. The wheels are here, but the rest of the customizations for them, like the lug nuts, are not here yet. And that's going to be... <laughs> that's... Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to roll in to the school parking lot with that truck because in our city little town there's a lot of people with big trucks especially especially since we got that truck last year we were the only big truck last year driving around this year there's probably four or five maybe big trucks driving around so I don't know people saw that and they're like oh let's get a big truck so a lot of them are at the school that my son goes to so I'll see all the dads pulling in with their big trucks like, and I'm pulling in with my little tiny Toyota Matrix and looking down on me like, sup lady? And I'm just like, just wait. Just wait. Because it's so funny. You have this big giant truck, right? And it's sitting in the parking lot. And there are these guys that walk past it, looking at it, and like, oh my gosh, look at this truck. And then, so I'm walking down. Thanks, Em. I'm walking down. And I open the door, and they're just like, is that your truck? And I'm like, yeah. And they're just like, because I'm thinking it's some big burly dude that drives this truck, and it's just like little me driving it. So, it's kind of funny. All right. Hey, <laughs> one lonely farmer. Nice to see you. I saw the cooking meth thing. Yes, it's a uh, delicious meth. Sorry, that's probably gonna have my channel banned saying meth, which you would know. Um. All right, so you said one minute, so we're gonna stoke this puppy up. Hey, Wes, are you still on the airplane? Ugh. He make truck run of syrup. He make truck run off of syrup. Um, that'd probably be a horrible mess, and it'd be very expensive if you did. Syrup is not cheap. temperature is still at 218 we're gonna try and push this out no I've landed and I just woke up from boy you are just so spoiled didn't you you even got a nap in today they cannot run off they run off <laughs> reverse Shriners vehicle yeah. all right let me see <laughs> I like how some guys that have big trucks try to act cool and I'm like no Hey, some of us girls like to try to act cool, too. Actually, it's 
like when Eric bought the truck. Okay, I'm not a truck person, or at least I wasn't a truck person. Hated trucks. I just wanted a nice little gas economical car. Happy as a peach, right? Eric wanted this big beast from Texas. And I'm like, I am not driving that thing. There is no way you're going to get me to drive that thing. And then I was told that I had to go pick up fertilizer from the feed mill and drive the truck down there. Which I never drove before, so not only did I have to try and back this giant thing up, I also had to haul fertilizer home in it. Oh my gosh, I have never been shaking so much in my life. But it was good, because I learned that I could drive the truck. But it did take a lot of work, and I still get, like, nervous on narrow roads that I'm just going to, like, hit something. But now it's like, you can't get a smaller truck, because I won't drive it if it's smaller. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time. Plus, you have daylight savings time. So, I guess that kind of worked out halfway well for you. But, yeah, it's going to take a couple weeks to get that all out of your system, I'm sure. Girls, it's not right for guys. We do what we do, and girls do whatever sometimes. Good to have the kids involved. Yes. But not on a sugar rush. Um, I did get a video earlier. Why is my time going down? Of um, him helping with the wood. He does like to help stack wood. He'd stick it in the fire if it wasn't so hot. Are you still going to check on the meat? Yes, I do have to do that, but I'm watching my temperature right now. Alright, so let's go check on the meat quick, guys. My temperature is at 217.8. We will we will get a draw today. Oh, fudge sickles. I'm going to have to push this out soon because my sap line is getting really low. I mean, it's a lot, but it's low because... After we shut this down, it's going to keep sucking sap down. It's going to keep cooking and cooking for a couple hours after we shut the whole system down. So. <sighs> Running by the skinnier teeth out here. Typical. Alright, so let's go check on my piggy pig over here. It doesn't look like he's smoking very good anymore. Hmm. There he is. Just sitting there happy as a clam, all glazed over. Should probably temperature probe him. Let's see if this is on. Okay. So, turn on my temperature thingy here. Everything's a thingy. Stab him in. Oh, yeah, this is feeling soft. 150, 154. Six. Still a little bit lower than I'd like to see. Fifty-seven. Hold on. Nine. Uh, back, 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 back. Top. Yeah. You're sad because you broke him. Oh boy, there he goes. Oh uh, yeah. I love the kids. I love the kids. Hey Maria. Maple bacon, yeah. That thing is gonna taste amazing. He's got a case of the moms. He is a mama's boy. Yeah, I'm gonna make that. <laughs> now he's running off crying. Oh, you're fixing the screwdriver? No, I'm fixing the handle, not the screwdriver. Sorry. Yeah, I get a little uh, distracted. Are you still live streaming? Yeah. I was watching you fix the door. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. Well, I could have wanted to do my gloves. It looks like me, yes. He, he's a good one. He's got the same nose as my daughter. Actually, he looks like a twin to my daughter, which is kind of funny because of the 10 year difference. You know where my zip ties are? <clears throat> uh, zip ties? No, not offhand. Um, I think, you know what, there is a bag of stuff inside the house that I brought in from out here, you know, a little Meyer bag, so check by the cabinet by the door. You didn't think cowboys were real. Yeah, cowboys are kind of hard to come by these days. Alright, there's all my golden meth. You know, we haven't yet had anybody call the police on us for looking like a meth house, but um, I'm sure at some point somebody will. I need a little bit. 
Back up to 218. What? People keep leaving my door open. That's why the temperature's not coming up. This makes a little bit of a difference. Uh-oh. Now we got a problem. Now there it goes. You always, 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 always want to make sure that sucker's dripping. If it doesn't, that means you're not getting any liquid in here. You want to see? All right, hold on. Gosh, you're getting heavy. Don't touch anything. You see it in there? Yeah. You see the dripping? Yeah, and I see, um, oh, see that, jumping? Yeah. And maple jump, jumping. All right, tree climbing gear, stuff your waffles through the phone. I'll dip them in there for you. I think everyone's concluded you probably have had enough maple syrup, my dear. But I want my maple syrup. Oh, hey. All right, I gotta put more stuff in here. Got to put more in. I gotta push this puppy. I'm getting low. All right, um. So, let me see. Okay, don't touch this piece. Oh, that was my glove. Alright, so I gotta try and... Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> so, let's see what we got here. Okay, back up. Back. No, 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 no. No, I didn't put it. Look, I'm opening no, it. I didn't, I didn't get it by you. Then you have to back up here so you don't get it. Ah! I'm on fire. Alright? I don't want you. Whoa, fire, whoa. Fire. Yeah, it's fire. Fire. So I'm going to put all the tiny chunks in right now. Yeah. Like a little bit faster. So it's going to eat this faster. But, sure, you know. yeah. Uh-uh, quit. quit no, I don't want you. All right, I'm trying to put this in. Mom, I have one maple syrup. What? Yeah, all right. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still looking for more. Get yeah, right! Okay. Yeah, he, uh... Fridays, if I put a video out on Friday or Saturday, there's a good chance that, uh, I had him in my lap while I was editing, so they don't always come out the best. <laughs> because he's in my lap if I'm sitting, just like the cat. So you'll usually have a child and a cat at the same time in my lap. I don't know how it goes. What is the temp outside? Uh, it's about 30 something outside. Low 30s maybe. Yes, I always have a lot going on. Don't give that kid any more syrup. Yeah. Yep. Okay, hey, 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 you're knocking everything over. So we're flying, uh oh. My picture just dropped. 17.8. Oh, there it goes. It's going back up. Wait. Zero. When it snows, do we pour maple syrup on the snow? We actually have not had any snow while we're cooking. This is the closest we've had. Um, all we have are melted snow drips right now. Yeah, I know. Our older ones are teenagers now, so we are trying to cherish them. Just gotta take a breath. Lots and lots of breaths. <laughs> yes, honey, yes. Okay. Um, I'm down and I want to watch you. Okay, um, I can't right now. Hey, okay. you want to go help dad? Um, bye, Andy. Nice to see you. Yeah, he will sleep tonight. He'll sleep really good. So that jug up there that you can't see, um, we don't actually empty it all the way down. We get it close. Um, but not all the way. So we got 217.7. I'm gonna pull the plug on the fan because it's dropping my syrup temp. How many acres are forested? We have about, say at least half of it's covered in woods. So like 40, 45. 
Um, so I've gone through and tracked the trees and it's about 800 taps roughly we could put in. How many taps? Uh, about 800 we could do on, on the property. So, shout out from the UK, Manny on the map. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, we only ran 75 this year just to try to make it a little bit more manageable. It's a lot. It takes, if the 75 buckets, it takes me about an hour to dump all 75. Um, one gallon per tap for maple syrup. I think they estimated it out to like a quart per tap. Just depends on the tree. Yes, um, if you go through and you run lines on your maple trees, it's going to be a little bit easier on you. And we might do that next year. I found a lot. There's yeah, I found a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I found a lot. Yeah, Maria, you're trying to get away from all the I mom, mom, mom. Nice. All right, so I cut the blower, the temp's going back up. Shoot, for a thousand taps. Well, we honestly, I'd rather tap the trees in town because they're big giant sugar maples, so we'd get actually more sap and more maple syrup from them. Mom. Bee Lady, you have 13 Mom. acres of forest. That's pretty good. Mom. If you've got maples, you can tap those. Yeah, the footprint. Yeah, and I made that rock Nice to see you from Canada. Yep. <laughs> All right. We're up to 218.5. Oh, <laughs> do I have a sister? I do, and she just got married last year. Um, yeah, be Avery lady, we really don't want a huge maple syrup operation. <laughs> I'd rather, um, what we have is manageable. Because uh, if we tapped more trees, we'd actually have to buy a bigger cooker, which again would be more money. So. Um, we'll probably stick with what we have, make this manageable, and pay for itself, and just see where it goes from there. Oh, I just keep <laughs> Maria, they got in a box fight. Hey, stuff them in the box and tape it over. <laughs> Not Two minutes. Right All right, well, we're at 218.6. M at is on the dial with his timer there. Um, in your state, do we need a special license? That is a good question, be lady um, You don't need a license in our... Hey, hey, no, keep the store shut. Come on. We don't need a license in here to sell your syrup, but you do have to have your company information on it. Um, even if it's just a small operation. If you're selling it to anyone outside of family, you have to have your phone number and your address and all of that stuff on it. I don't watch. I don't watch. And your, I'm, I don't know and your dad left you out here with me. Why? Huh? I don't okay. know why. I gotta put wood in the fire. I don't watch you. Mommy, please watch. Hit, hit your, knock everybody over. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not doing Okay. Please. <sighs> yeah, what's your dad doing right now? Okay, hey, don't touch that red thing. What? What freeze? Uh, no, I want you to. Yeah, I want your mom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah! What is, hey, I think Dad said he's got some gummy worms for you. Oh, here. Ah! Fire. See all fire? Get all the fire. Get all, all the fire. Get all the fire. See fire? Get at me. All right. Yeah, I know you guys are getting seasick at this point. Yeah, kids. <laughs> Especially boys. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. More hey. More yes. Um. But he gets a little bit. Uh, he's definitely not camera shy. Hey, hey, right here. Listen. 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 
Heidi, listen, if you want more maple syrup, you have to do me a favor, okay? What? what? I'll give you a little bit, and then you have to go inside, okay? Why? Because Dad said he wants some help, okay? All right? A lot. Yeah, this video is going to be my revenge on him when he's in high school. I have a lot. My teeth have a lot. Okay. My teeth have a lot. Oh, yeah. They're dead. Hey, come here. Yeah, it's dripping on you. Yes, the bribe. I, unless you guys want to see him go, like, total 10 crazy from kicking him out of here. Okay. Let me hold it. Okay. Sold out, Eric. You will get the maple syrup as soon as you bring me the duct tape. <laughs> then I'm gonna get, what is duct tape? What? There you go, there you go. Hey, look at that. Hey there, look at that. It worked, guys. I think he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going in, good. <laughs> No, he's just tired, and I mean, yeah, he he does listen, but I know it's just his bad time of night. <laughs> Spanking. Well, you know my fly swatter's in the house. Coast is clear, yeah. So, all right, this kitten is rolling pretty hard right now. Gosh, I mean, this is like, how long have we been on our farm? He would be a silver snow worm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have been five years, and actually, I want to do a five-year anniversary video. It shows where we started to where we are now. Just because it's kind of cool, because this was like nothing out here. Whew. Okay. So, this is looking like syrup. Now, if you guys rewatched this video back when it started, and you can see the pan cooking, and now you can see it, it's like the bubbles change. So our temperature is at 218.4. We gotta just baby this puppy along. It should get there. Give it five minutes, Dad will send him out. Probably so. Gosh. You know, he knows I'm doing a live feed out here. I don't know why it doesn't occur to him to grab him and take him inside. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. How come you're back out here? Huh? How come you're back out here? Did Dad not in the Inside. Dad's not inside? No. Oh, he's looking on the truck. Why don't you go help him with the truck? Oh, you, you gotta go see the new wheels. They're bigger than you. Uh, uh, I still want, I still want maple syrup. But I gave you maple syrup. But I want more. more. I want maple syrup. Yeah. I want maple syrup. Yeah, I should have known this was going to last like I'm five minutes. Okay, hey, shirt. hey, you're getting too close to that fire. I'm you see it's glowing. Shirt. It's glowing. So that shirt. door's I'm glowing. I think you've had enough maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, well, see, the problem is that everyone's doing their own thing. So I'm kind of like the one that gets stuck. <laughs> Do not act like that. Come on, guys. I want more. What am I demanding more of? Are you? Yeah, he is definitely gonna pass out tonight. Hey, you need to get in the house right now, or you're not having any more maple syrup tonight. Go. Hey, mom. In the house. Let's go. Go in the house. Come on. In the house. Go ask Nuna to put something on TV for you. In the house. <laughs> Meet mom. All right, time for more wood. I know that was that was so exciting. Everyone's tuning in just to watch parenting moments here. <laughs> All right, more wood. I'm trying to see if any of these are spanking size.
they're actually a little bit too big for what I'm looking for, but they are going to sink in. Yeah. I'm running out of like all my tiny little pieces. The tiny pieces are good for uh, getting the fire really hot really fast. Oh, I got something else. So these are pallet boards. Yeah, you guys are lucky you're not in here. Alright, so these are supposed to cook up hot and fast. Can you use coal? coal in it? What kind of flavored syrup are you looking for? No, um, coal actually doesn't burn hot enough, surprisingly. You have to use continual flame on this. So the bigger operations, they'll use um, propane, sometimes heating oil, uh, natural gas. Um, Did I get in trouble? <laughs> what? You've been on this live stream for like two hours. I'm trying to get a draw. And you left Aaron in here with me. Yeah, I'm trying to work on the truck. Okay, well I can't cook maple syrup when I've got a screaming child in here. Live stream. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, so let's pop some fire in this thing. Um Pallet boards are supposed to cook really good. We haven't tried them yet, but these guys, honestly, I think they're a little too rotten, so I don't know if this is going to be any good. The other half of the problem is all of our wood is wet, so kind of makes it a little trickier, too. Okay. Dinosaur flavor. <laughs> Oh, cool syrup is good to give to your enemies, yeah. Pellets are best for the fire. Pellets are great for the fire if they're dry and not rotten, which I think ours are a little too rotten. Um, hey, 57 Fenner. I think Dad needs maple syrup. He's actually on the keto diet, so he can't have any sugar, which he's kind of bummed about. You can kind of see him creeping up there. We're getting close. It's gotten to 218.5. I know our syrup level's getting really low. Sap, sap level getting low. But I think our biggest problem is just all the wood's getting wet. No? Should be. Should be spitting something out here. I mean, it's getting close. hour right now because if I push this too hard then it'll burn down all of our sap and then the pan will shoot straight to store up and everything will be shot so when I shut this fire down it stays hot in here for a really long time which means it continues to cook all of the syrup in here so we always 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 have to have sap running into this with our automatic float system if the sap stops flowing in and the height level gets too low on those pans, all of that sap will turn straight, it'll turn straight to maple syrup and burn right to the pan. So um, you don't want that. Okay, go with dad. I thought you were going in the house with your sister. I don't want to. Okay, okay. Camera Say you're cooking an animal, would they demonetize the video? You know, it's kind of tough to say what they're going to demonetize these days. Um, I just saw a, a hunter trapper guy who does fur tanning, which is the awesomest stuff to watch on YouTube because you have to watch it to know how to do it. And all of his videos were demonetized. 
I mean, literally, this guy had all of his videos. They were all demonetized. And I just felt so bad for him because these are the people that I need to be running on YouTube. This is my life, guys. This is... It makes it a little hard to get stuff done. Okay, you gotta go, Mom. So I'll put fire in. Yes. Yeah, Dad, take... Take... Out. Oh. Go, Dad. Thank you. So you can draw up at like 118 and uh, the system will run a lot better. Yeah. It's just too hard to push it. It is hard, yeah. What is that light? Oh, that's my light over there. Otherwise, you start backing your system up in the syrup and the blues. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I don't have the blower going. I have just the main fire because if the blower were going, it would back it up down there. Well, guys, we have another guest coming. I'm surprised this is the first one. Aww, I don't get a kitty! Usually this area is crawling with cats, but I don't know. It just hasn't been today. Except for this one. Ugh! Ah! Oh, Alright, so temperature's 218.1. They'll shoot up in just a little bit from the added wood. But the pans are still cooking down. It's getting darker in here. Can't really see a whole lot. Bye, Mark. Nice finishing pan. That would allow the final boil done to happen faster. Oh, hold on. Oh, Dropping my thing. Yeah, well, only farmer they do grow up fast. I've got a 14 year old, so this one tends to get a little spoiled sometimes. Can you block the last section to keep sap from coming into the front section? Um, yes, but then it boils down to nothing, so you really don't want to do that. It would allow the final boil to be done faster. A lot of people on professional systems have what's known as a finishing pan. So they will actually pull it off from here with the little spigot thing and it'll go into a separate pan. And then that the, pan... The professional ones, you can run separate levels on your front pan and your back pan. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a very basic setup. Um, in hindsight, we probably should have just gone with a different setup, but it was cost effective, so... And we didn't, and we didn't know how long we were actually going to be doing this for, so the nice thing is you can always resell this equipment and there's always people wanting to buy it, so bye Steve, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, I have help all over the place, it kind of makes it a little tricky. Do I make candy out of it? No, we don't. We don't have, it takes a lot of maple syrup to make maple candy, and we never, what? It smells good. Yeah? It does smell good yeah. in here. <laughs> YouTube's now known by Google, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Honey, what are you doing? Okay, Adam. <laughs> Ask Eric why he didn't finish the roadkill. Why didn't you finish eating your roadkill, Eric? Ow. I thought I should watch the video first. He wanted to go watch the video first because he found out there's a video. Yeah. After I seen the video, I definitely didn't want to finish it. Um, Northern Michigan, it's Pepsi like Farms. Monkey boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's Monkey Boy over there. Um, the wood actually is hardwood that we bought from a guy that sells hard hardwood last year. Um, but when we run out of that, we'll probably just cut down some of the trees out back that are dead and standing. Actually, it'll probably be me cutting them. I'm not so good with. You have to shut it down Yeah. Oh, shoot. That sucker's getting low. Because <sighs> it is slanted, too. Yeah. Um, so, our temperature is at 217.9.
Oh, the bee lady guys, just purchased I a hat. Hold on, I gotta check out here. Guys, guys, out here. That's probably the notification I got on my phone. I can't guys, read anything, so. Um, yeah, bee lady, I'll get that out probably, let's see, tomorrow Sunday, so it'll probably be Monday I'll get that out for you. So this is where we're at with SAP right now, guys. Um, it's right at that bottom bar. Probably got 20, 25 gallons. We got a little bit. So I think, unfortunately, we're gonna have to shut the system down because it's not going to be good. To, the fire is running so hot, it's not gonna push any syrup out. Which is really kind of disappointing because the sugar content was actually pretty decent on this. <clears throat> All right, so our temperature is not too syrup yet. We are running low. We don't want to burn our pans, so we're going to have to shut this down, which really sucks because the reason I did this live feed was because I wanted you guys to see the syrup coming out because that is literally guys, the coolest I thing. I <sighs> so, syrup. my apologies, guys. I have failed in producing syrup for you today. So, guys, Friday I will be the next cooking day. And we have to cook have to Friday. You might get it. It's, at two, it's been sitting at 218.5. If I keep feeding this, I think I, I don't know if it can push it. Gosh, it's it's at the dangerous really level. Small pieces. I've got some pallet boards that's getting dripped on. All right, we'll give it one last fire push and see if we can get it. I don't think it'll go though. See, it's dropping again. Um, yeah, so if we don't get syrup this time, it sits in the pan. Um, it's already been sterilized, so it's not going to go bad or anything. So then we'll cook on Friday because we're going to have a huge warm-up Friday and Saturday. Yeah, I'll and take the maple syrup. I got to cook everything down on the buckets or it'll go bad. Yes, we're in Michigan, Farmall Fanatic. <coughs> um, so Friday, we'll cook again whatever I have. Hopefully it'll be a decent amount. What kind of tree does the sap come from? The maple tree. Brian, come on. It's maple syrup. <laughs> Unless you're saying what type of maple trees, it would be uh, black, sugar, and I think we've got two reds tapped. We don't tap silvers because they're in the swamp and it's just swampy. All right, so Friday, provided we get some good flows this week, I'll do another click. And I guess I'll wait till we reach 218 to start the live stream. How about that? I waited to 215 thinking it would do it, but. You know, Ugh. I'm getting low on wood. Getting really close to 219. 218.8. You have your tester out here? Yeah, but it's not even. I would test it at 219 and see where the sugar content is. I think it's going to have to be at uh, 220 at least. Because I tested it at 260. 17? Yeah, do, do it super quick. 18.9. 219. I would test it. Alright, so the temperature's at 219. Yeah, We're gonna test it really quick. 219.1. Yeah, I made it bed Hold on. Yeah. A lot of people will pull the syrup at 219 because it's supposed to be syrup seven degrees above boiling. Mom, I'm making it up. Okay, watch out. Watch out. Uh, right. Back. Yeah. Come on, Bob. Oh. Hey, yeah. Yeah. 
Still has ways to go. <sighs> oh, sorry about that light. So I tested the syrup and it's at it's going up quick now. It still has a couple of degrees it has to go. Looks like we're cooking moonshine. How is the barrel working? Just came online. Um it's over there. Um I think it's done cooking. It's done, it's ready to pull off. Eric says it's ready to pull off. Temp is 171. <laughs> yeah, bud. We'll let it stand oh. half hour or so, so it cools maple down a little bit. Syrup. All right, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a push for maple syrup, syrup today. Maple syrup. All right, guys, so we will do maple cooking on syrup. Friday, which unfortunately for a lot of you guys will probably start in the morning. Don't touch that, it's hot. Well, let's go check Mr. Piggy over here quick. Yeah, we don't need to probe him. Oh, Eric's gonna probe him. <clears throat> Probably 175. Okay. Yeah, so it's about 175. This sucker's been on here since. Oh, shoot. When do we stick him on the grill? One o'clock? We had this rolling before we had the fire so that rolling be in there. Well done. 170 is well done. It should pork. be some real good pulled pork. <laughs> yeah, well, well done. All right, guys. Um, take care. I'm gonna shut my system down here. And uh, hopefully my kid might run down the hill and up a couple times. You should get Nightbot going. It's an auto moderator. Bye, tree. <laughs> Again, I think I need Maria to be Maria to be my moderator. All right, guys. So I will see you on Friday. Good night, Wes. Sorry. I hope you have a good sleep. Um, yeah. Try to uh, have a little glass of wine tonight before bed. Simmer things down. Hope you and your lady have a good trip. You guys take care. No, sorry. Bye. <laughs> see you guys later. How do I shut this thing down? Oh, there it is. Not Wes, that's Timmy. Tim.